make delicious turkey burgers, we're going to use um, 1.67 pounds of lean turkey. And I'm going to add some uh, garlic salt, a little bit of garlic salt in here. Some dehydrated onions. Going to add some parsley to this, some basil. I do have some breadcrumbs that are Italian uh, seasoned with Italian seasoning, so I'm not going to put a ton of herbs in here. Um, I do like to add these little crispy onions to this as well going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Two eggs. And then I'm going to add some Parmesan and Romano cheese. And then I will add my breadcrumbs. And I just kind of eyeball this. And then you just want to get in here with your hands and just mix everything together. Get it nice and incorporated. You'll also want to add some salt and pepper to this. A little more breadcrumbs in here. Let's switch over. I don't want this to be too wet. You could also use panko. Give it some salt. Some fresh cracked pepper. That looks pretty good. So then I'm just going to shape these and then I will grill them up on the barbecue. To make my turkey burgers, I do like to use a scooper so that they're roughly the same size. Um, turkey is very lean, so they're not gonna spread a lot. So I'm just going to put it on my cookie sheet here and I will um, pat these out. And I'm sorry, they won't shrink as much because they're pretty lean. So I'm just going to pat this out and get a nice round uniform patty and I'll just keep going. And you can cook these all up or you can uh, freeze you know, some and cook them up later. If you're going to freeze them up, I just recommend that you uh, put some parchment paper in between them when you freeze them kind of like if you were to buy pre pre-made patties uh, in the freezer section they always have some parchment between between them so they don't stick together and you should be good to go and that's it just keep going until you've formed all of them and of course you want to make them to fit your buns <laughs> so if you have really small buns then you want to make smaller burgers if you have really large buns then you'll want to adjust the size accordingly and that's it so at this stage I can fire up the grill and cook these up or I can put some parchment in between the layers and uh, throw it in the freezer and let them freeze up I do recommend that if you are going to go the frozen route and you you want to that extra assurance that you'll get them separated um, I recommend that you put them on a baking sheet and then just throw a piece of parchment um, over the top 
let them freeze and then pull them out and put them in a Ziploc bag. Um, that way they're frozen solid and they're not gonna, they'll have less, you know, chance of sticking to each other. So, so that's it. I'm gonna finish these off and make my delicious turkey burgers.